guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're well i hope you're having a fabulous week it's so sunny outside today so i thought i'm going to get this video filmed for you guys nice and early and then i'm going to go on a lovely walk so if you're new to this channel then welcome my name is jodie and if you're not new then thank you for continuing to support me and my channel and i hope that you really enjoy this video now this is a video i've wanted to film okay let's just put that back to the back <laughs> I feel like this video is a video that I've wanted to film like ever since I started my channel. It's always been one I've wanted and I thought I'd just do it like a nice kind of fashion video but also a practical like a practical one like hopefully this video is going to help you. Okay just a disclaimer excuse my nails. I tried some Amazon ones and I have six on so this hand is pretty good. This hand is you know just gonna put it here um so yeah basically today i'm gonna be testing some of like our kind of favorite fast fashion brands gym wear lines so i've chosen missy empire plt misguided and then asos design all brands that i have tried other pieces of clothing from but never ordered gym wear from the only gym wear i've ever brought is i've brought a few asos 4505 i think that's what it's called um, top I've never tried like a full set and basically what I thought is what I thought I would do is test a whole gym set and then also a unitard from each of the brands because I feel like unitards at the gym are like a kind of a trend at the moment these sets are all pretty affordable I'll tell you guys the prices and sizes and everything as we get into it but if you want to see how these fast fashion brands do gym wear then please keep watching okay so I thought I would rate I've got a bit exposed over here I feel like I would rate these um kind of pieces on um sizing stretchiness and also like see-throughness to see how they actually like if you can squat in them obviously there's no point having a pair of gym leggings that you can't squat in because it's just going to show everything so i'll do misguided first i picked up this baby blue misguided set i'll quickly talk through them but i'll actually try them on for you guys and then i picked up the matching baby blue leggings and i like they have a really thick waistband which i think is good i feel like hopefully this will really like suck you in and like keep you in place i will i like refuse to wear gym leggings if they don't have a thick band i just feel like they don't flatter me and i just don't feel like confident enough really to wear something with like a really thin band but i got the leggings in a medium and i got the top in a small okay so i have the first set on and i really like it i feel like it's a lovely color and i feel like in the summer especially this will look really nice but i also feel like you could probably wear these leggings as just like normal leggings so they're really holding it in on the waist there we go you can really see the color i love this but like it's very subtle branding so like you don't feel like you're a bit this is the back. I don't, don't, I don't think that they're see-through, but I feel like it always shows up more on camera. Um, they're definitely flattering like on my bum. It's holding me at the waist. They're not super tight though. Like I have, I feel like they are a little bit see-through. So I've got like dark grey pants on. From the front, I think they're fine. But from the back, and I think especially on the camera, you can kind of see where my pant is. And you can see the label. And these are a medium, and I would have normally gone for a small. So I feel like if these were any smaller, they would be super see-through. So that's a bit of a shame. But the top I love. I feel like it's really flattering. Quite supportive. I like this bit. Like, it fits me fine. Like, it fits me brilliantly, other than the length, of course. It's a bit gapey. But it's always going to be on five foot four. So yeah, I would rate this probably like on fit. I would say like ten out of ten. Like it fits me other than the length. But gym leggings are always too long for me unless they're petite. But the see throughness, I didn't notice until literally. Like I feel like you can just see it. So not very good misguided because i've sized up so if anything they definitely shouldn't be see-through okay so then i also picked up this like gym unitard from them this was definitely my least favorite i think out of all the ones that i did pick up but it was the only one that misguided had so it's this like charcoaly like almost like a purpley gray color because obviously the the wall behind me is grey, so like you can see like it's a bit more purpley. I got this in a size 8. It doesn't feel like the thickest material. It kind of feels like a swimming costume, like, you know, like the swimming costumes you'd wear for like swimming lessons. It kind of just feels like that. But these bands, um, 
these straps feel pretty thick so hopefully they will like, hold you in and it's just got some sort of like sort of paneling detail it doesn't look amazing the shorts don't look too short though so hopefully um i will feel a little bit more comfortable but that was 20 pound i'll put the price here of that and yeah not don't feel super impressed by that to start with but we will see okay this is the unitard and in the mirror i didn't think i minded it but i just don't think it looks flattering on camera like i just wish this was like i think i just wish the neckline was like slightly higher but in terms of it being like supportive i feel like it is it's not see-through and i actually don't mind it like i don't know if i'd wear this to the gym like i don't know if i'd it's not exactly like holding me in but so yeah definitely not see-through but i just feel like it hasn't got enough in the material to really like suck you in and like make you feel 10 out of 10 but yeah i'll probably give this like a four or five i don't love okay i've been dying to try the missy empire stuff my mom keeps seeing like ads for them on facebook and then obviously i did a missy empire video a few weeks ago and i ordered this within it um and i thought i'm not gonna look because i don't want to ruin this video but so i've genuinely not looked so I picked up again just a matching co-ord. I really love this like purpley mauve colour. I feel like this is a really lovely like, it's just like a really lovely colour. It hasn't got a thick waistband, which will be interesting. These are a size 8. So it's just this band and it's got a little bit of branding. Then it's got a little bit of branding there. So it's got the exact same colour as my nails, which is nice. Just says Missy Sport. Um... This bit doesn't feel like too bad, like it does feel pretty stretchy, but also like quite... Oh my god, can you hear that? Oh my god, that must be like... It's like an elastic band. Okay, maybe that's a good sign. Maybe that means that they'll hold you in, but yeah, they're not... The, um, they don't feel the thickest material, but they do feel like they'll hold you in so hopefully they do and then to go with that i picked up a little bit of a different sort of top i picked up a long sleeve zip up i love wearing these at the gym i feel like sometimes if, I, if i've got like a sports bra on i'm too cold but then sometimes with like a hoodie on too hot so i kind of like having these and then you know you can put the zip down you can wear like a little sports bra um, i just feel like it's a nice little like you know where else can we really go right now so when the gyms are open let's you know again it's got that branding on the back it's got a nice chunky zip it's that same sort of material so like stretchy but as it kind of like stretches but really goes back into place if that makes sense to anyone so hopefully this is a good one it's also got some cuffs with thumb holes which again i love a, a long sleeve gym top to me is not suffice unless it has zip holes zip holes unless it has thumb holes okay so this is the set that i thought i would like the most i love the top and what i noticed when i was putting it on like the material that like, clings to your skin so i do like it i think the top is probably my favorite like it just looks super i love the leggings and it's definitely not see-through it's like a definitely a thick material but i just wish the waistband was thicker material because it's kind of just falling look you know we're here i know i would constantly be buffing in the gym pulling this off i don't know let me know what you guys think but i just feel like you know when you're constantly pulling these off it just wouldn't be good i'll probably give these a eight okay and then the uni tile i got was a total bow and tea dupe and it was definitely a fraction of the price oh this was definitely the one i was most excited to try and the one that i was most impressed with just off kind of the website so it's this lovely like really light gray Oh my god, how does it still focus on my face? There we go. Okay, so it's just like a really nice like light grey. Like it's almost got like a little bit of a blue tinge. I don't know. I just really love this colour. I feel like with like a nice tan, this would be super flattering. Look at this waistband. Like, I'm sorry. That is going to you in. It's got some lovely little shorts. It's got strappy straps, which I don't know if will kind of just be like a little bit like oh but it looks like it's got like a nice bit of your boobs so like hopefully your boobs sit nicely with that like detail underneath i've got this in a size eight as well okay this was definitely a workout to get on but i think like this bit is quite tight so i really struggled to like get it over my bum and thighs because you have to step into it but 
I don't know. It definitely looks see-through in the viewfinder there, but in the mirror it doesn't. This would look amazing on so many girls. I don't know. I do like it. I'd probably say this is like an eight. And I think with like a cardigan over, I feel like this could be cool with like some um socks and trainers like in the summer but i don't know i just feel like these straps just aren't as supportive as they could be which is a shame but okay so on asos i actually really struggled to find like matching sets in the 4505 kind of section so i think i ended up just getting like ones that didn't match but I think they may be part of the same collection, so we'll just see. But I picked up to start with these, like, really nice oatmeal leggings. And I thought these just looked really so exposed. Okay, that's not really the colour, but it's just, like, a creamy oatmeal colour. So I thought this would be nice, even just, like, under, it, like, a white sweatshirt. Um, again, they've got a thick waistband, but they don't feel as, sort of, like, they just feel really stretchy which I don't know if it's a good thing or not, like it doesn't feel like, I don't know, I feel like it's hard to know until it's gone, but yeah, nice thick waistband, a tiny little bit of white branding on the cuff of the leg, and then I picked, just picked up this little white sports bra, so I think these will like still go together even though they're not the same colour, and it's just like a racer back material, and it's got adjustable straps which I think is great, obviously you can do it tighter or looser depending on like your chest size i got this in a size eight and i think i got the leggings in a small yeah so these are in a size small um just a nice simple like razorback sports bra hopefully it's not see-through it hasn't got any padding in so we will see but it is double lined so i'd hope that it's not okay this is probably the my favorite one that i've put on but I will say, I probably pulled multiple muscles trying to get this top on. Yeah, I just feel like it's super tight. Like, I probably could have done with, like, this is size 8. Or I probably could have done with size not, like, two times. Like, I just... It's supportive, which, you know, nothing's going to come, come out. But it's just so tight. And I've put the um, straps as loose as they can go. Like, the straps feel fine. But here... It's literally like I can't breathe. But it does look nice. And it looks lovely with these. But they're see-through. <laughs> I have got dark grey pants, so I feel like with white pants or nude pants, these would be fine. And I love the band, it's super actually like holding me in, which I didn't think it would. So I feel like with a white pair of pants or nude, these would be fine. They're actually not that long for me either, there's not much material gathering, which is great. Yeah, I really actually like these. I feel like they're a nice little duo and I feel like these could look lovely with just like I said earlier, just like a sweater over the top. I think I would say probably like an eight just because of like the kind of issues with sizing and things. But yeah, this is a good good thing. So I feel like ASOS design 4505 is probably a good one to have a look at girls. Again, I don't think ASOS design really had many unitards, but there was this like long sleeved one now. I'm not sure if this will look right it kind of looks like one of those all-in-one swimming costumes that some people wear but it's just like navy it almost looks like someone in a triathlon what a triathlon is someone who does triathlons would wear i don't know but this is what the only one and i just really wanted to try them so it's definitely a thinner material than the rest of the asos stuff but it's just like a navy blue high neck long sleeved with thumb holes which is lovely and it's just got like exposed seams all the way down now i don't know this is going to be one of those pieces that i try on and either love or absolutely hate and will be embarrassed to ever show the internet me wearing it so yeah we'll see i got that in a size oh okay i got that in size eight okay so i have the asos um unitard on and i actually really like it like i don't know I didn't think I would just because it's like so like long sleeve and everything, but I do really like like it fits like a dream. It's obviously not see through. Um, I think it's really flattering. I love the thumb holes. I love that you can you know like do this as high. But I would never do that because I hate things being around my neck. Um, yeah, I love that you can kind of like mess with the zip. Yeah, I feel like this is a really good thing. Like if you want some sort of like long sleeve unitard, which you're like even if like you do running, like you want to like you run in like, I feel like this is a good thing. Yeah, this genuinely, even though I thought I would hate it, this is probably the best thing that I've tried on and straight away I thought, okay, that fits me well. Like, I'm not, like, necessarily mad, like, about the colour, but the actual fit and, like, practicality of it is really good. So, yeah, 
a really good one. Okay, and from PLT, I just thought I would go classic and get black because to be honest, I was least confident in the PLT stuff. I don't know why because I tried that Molly May set and I did like it and like I got quite a lot of comments saying that it looked really good on camera too. So I don't know, but for some reason, I was just least confident about PLT. I feel like I'm just having a bit of a hit or miss kind of time with them at the moment, but they're just really classic, like long leg black and hopefully these aren't see-through because i don't know they've got a thick waistband but it's not ribbed and i always find that the, like, the ribbed um kind of material like that doesn't feel like it's i don't know it doesn't feel like it's going to be super supportive and like flattering but we will see i got these in a size eight so and then i also picked up the matching top again i think in a size oh i got this in a size 10 i think that must have been out of stock and it's just a really simple like black cropped again like this material just kind of feels like swimming um like a swimming costume material okay so shockingly i actually like this obviously it's not see-through but that's kind of why i went with black because I thought anything else in PLT probably would be. I love the top, but at the same time, I also feel like, is it that hard to get this sort of top right? But in terms of fit, it's perfect. Like, I wouldn't want it any bigger, any smaller. The leggings fit me lengthwise pretty well. Again, it's just the waistband doesn't really want to stay up. Like, I feel like if I was running or whatever, they would kind of come down, like, if I was being really active. But it's depth for the price. I feel like... It is really good. I just wish that the waistband was slightly thicker, but I think these aren't as bad as like the Missy Empire ones. So yeah, I'm actually really impressed by these PLT. I'd probably give this a eight. Sizing's fine, it's just the waistband. And then finally from PLT, I picked up again a O Poly Bow and Tee Unitard Dupe. And I love this one, and I'm just praying that it looks good. So this is part of the PLT Sport range and I got this in a size small. So it's just like a peach colour. And if you have followed me for a while, okay. That is the, okay, there we go. That's the colour. If you followed me for a while, you will know that peach is my ultimate favourite colour. So I'm praying that it looks good because I feel like I would just love to wear this like even in the summer with just like a white cardigan like if I'm just popping somewhere like to the airport. It's got padding in the boob area which is nice. Again it's got that really nice waistband but it's not as thick as the Missy Empire one was but we will see. It's got a little bit of branding on the thigh just says PLT Sport which looks nice. It looks it does not cheap. It's also got these like I don't know if it will pick up on camera. Can you see that there's like semicircles? So I'm guessing that is to kind of create an illusion of like a skinny waist. It's got that on the front and on the back. So yeah. Okay, so last but not least, I actually do like this. I feel like the only problem is you can see my pants, but with a lighter pair, I feel like it would be fine because it's not actually see through. You can kind of just see like the shadow. The only bit that's weird is like here where there's like the pads. It's kind of like bunching but for a bow and tee dupe i think this is a really good one i feel like these little like semicircles. i don't know if they'll really show up on camera but yeah i also feel like they're really flattering so i'm actually pretty impressed with this so let me grab a chair and we will end this bit okay so um all in all i'm actually i'm like 50 50 i'm pretty impressed with some things and then other things i just think like oh, could you not have done that better like how have they gone through like every stage of a product being made and it's still being like half hearted quality like i just don't really understand that but i suppose with the price you're paying i don't know um so let me start from the top misguided hit i feel like it's hit or miss i love the top um asos the bottoms were fine the top would be great in a bigger size and the unitard fit brilliant so if that is your style like i feel like that's perfect plt um it was okay like i liked the top like i said the i feel like it's always just the waistband like i feel like that's why i always go for like bow and tee and gym shot just because of the waistband but if i don't know like maybe it's personal like i just feel like for me personally to feel like confident in the gym and while i'm working out i just love a really thick waistband so i don't have to like keep faffing or feel like it's falling down 
um, the the unitard was fine like it was okay like it just i suppose needed a few little adjustments and missy empire i loved the jacket and i wish 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 that i could find some trousers to fit go with it like maybe if i just wore like black but then i'm kind of like it's supposed to be worn as a set i don't know kind of disappointed guys not gonna lie but some of my favorite gym sets are the bow and tee ribbed ones like i always harp on about the gym shark um is it like seamless like the camo ones they've got a super thick thick waistband and i also have a really really good pair of dkny sport um set and that is really good like again that's got a super thick waistband and it's a really thick material so i don't know but it's it's personal preference with price i would say go for asos design the most I feel like you can just trust ASOS a little bit more. So I hope that you guys all really enjoyed this video. It was a nice one to film, like something different. I never kind of do videos with like lots of different brands. So I feel like it's nice to get a few like kind of like done in one video. So you guys just know a lot of, you know, a lot of info. So I hope you guys all really enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe. I'm really actually getting close to 600 subscribers, which is great. So if you don't already subscribe and you've enjoyed this video, or if you love watching my other ones, then please, please subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. And yeah, I hope you all have a lovely week. I've got some really fun videos coming for you in the next few weeks. And the end is near, guys. We can nearly go out. So I'm going to have some really cool styling videos coming. So I hope you all have a lovely week. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Okay, guys. So this is Jodie from Midway Through the Video. But I just thought I'd pop in before the video ends. Just to say, if you don't follow me on Instagram. Or if you haven't already seen. As part of my uni course. Um, I'm doing an events management module. And my group is holding an event on the 20th of March. 7 till 9. Which is a Saturday night. And it's basically called Female Euphoria. If you look on the Instagram page. X Virtual Events. I will link it in the description below. The tickets are completely free. Or you can make a donation to the Girls Network. Through Eventbrite. It's all very self-explanatory. But we've got some really cool guests. So we've got a lot of like girls who work in influencing and fashion and who have fashion blogs we're working with a really great charity the girls network and we're also collaborating with a few different brands jewelry fashion all from the local like birmingham area so if that is something that you would love to be involved in and join it's just something really nice to get like to do in lockdown it'll be a nice little saturday night for you just to chill and you can like it's a lot of kind of eighth inspiration so if you like my videos it's definitely something that i think you'd love to be interested in so yeah everything will be linked in the description box below but just comment down below or dm me any questions you have and i will get back to you so bye guys <laughs>